Hey guys, Zach here with Imaging Spectrum, and today I wanted to show you how easy it is to create your own cut lines in Adobe Illustrator to use in the Onyx software bundled with Epson's S-Series printers. First, we'll take our design. I like to drag and drop mine on the plus box at the bottom of our layers panel. This will copy the current layer and leave our image intact. Next, I'm going to set our lock on our design layer so that I don't change anything I do not want to. For consistency, I will also go ahead and rename my cut layer. Next, we'll select our entire design, and under Object, we'll select Expand. This will change any parts of our image into the true shape we desire, rather than the paths. Go ahead and expand out all that we can. In this case, Fill and Stroke. With that complete, and our image still selected, we can now go to our Pathfinders panel. If you can't find any of the mentioned panels here, remember, you can go under the Window tab to find if they are hidden or not. Next, under our Shape Masks, we will select Unite. As you can see, this makes our object into one full image. Since I don't want to include the two inside areas to be cut, I'm going to double click on the object and delete both of the internal marks. Now I will go back to our main object. From here, we can create the cut lines we desire to outline our design. I'm going to flip the fill off and turn the stroke on. I like to select a color that is completely different from my design and preferably not magenta, as you will see why shortly. Once the stroke has been added, we need to change the name and the color type. For our name, we'll choose cut, contour, underscore, kiss, or underscore perf if you're running a perforated cut. And for the color type, make sure we select spot color, as a process color will actually show up in our print. You can also add this to your library for any future designs. Just to preview, we can see our outline perfectly matches our design. Now we are ready to save and bring it into Onyx. I like to save it as a PDF as it's a universal file format that also retains our spot color choices. From here, we can open up Onyx and import our new design. To check we did everything correctly, you can right click on your image and select Job Properties. From here, hopefully you can see the outline we created in Illustrator is now showing up as a magenta pink color. Now, just make sure to select the proper contour cutter, and I'm going to make three copies. After you're happy with your settings, let's go ahead and make sure our cut server is open and we're ready to print and cut. Here, I'm using Epson's S4600 print and cut bundle with the included GraphTech 54-inch FC9000. Once our print is complete, we can go back to the cut server to see our cut lines import automatically. From here, we can decide how we want to handle this. I'm going to start with a kiss cut, but we'll also demonstrate a perforated cut for you. And with that set, we're ready to cut. So, whether you need a kiss cut or a perforated cut, Imaging Spectrum has you covered. Hope this was helpful, and please like and subscribe for more content. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to Imaging Spectrum. See you next time.